Obi, please, can you help me fix the kitchen sink before you go? Ah, Lolami, you are too troublesome. Don't you see I'm already late for work? You are your own boss. No one is going to shout at you. Help your wife for once, Hobby. Okay, fine. Once I get back from work, the first place I'm going to check out is the kitchen sink. Hmm. Well, I will be hoping you fulfill your promise. Anything I can do to make my lovely wife happy, I will do it. See you when I'm back, honey. One more thing, Hobby. Oh, what again, Lola? Can I join you in your car? To where? To the market, of course, babe. And you are here to dress up. No, this won't be possible, babe. I love you. Bye. Oh, wait, babe. Lola, you are becoming too lazy lately. But I have to try to make it to the market anyway. Hi, Lola. And the is popping. Everything is going fine, Jerry. Guess who is in town, babe? Who? I am not good at guessing at all. Please let me know who is that. Dominic is back from London. Dominic, when? You have been missing in action, babe. Dom has been spoiling me lately. You need to see how cute, rich and attractive he has become. Hmm. Well, I am happy for him. Dominic is asking of you, Lola. I told him you are a married woman now, though. Thank you. At least you have created an awareness on my behalf. But, Lola, Sha. I can remember when you and Dominic were two lovebirds. You were ready to lay down your life for him then. Well, we all have been there. No one didn't experience that kind of love. But at a point, we all woke up to reality, my dear. Talking of the Mr. Cute himself, Dominic, here is Lola. Can I rest now? Hey, Lola Shade, I'm back from London. I have made money and I have become the man of your dreams. Hey, Mr. Dominic, you better wash your tongue. I am a married woman now. I know you still feel something for me, for old time's sake. Hello, two lovebirds. I'm gonna get busy now. Call me if you need me, Lola. Don't dare. And Yola, don't ever try it. What do you take me for? Ah, uh, ah, uh, babe. I feel like two of you need some privacy now. You must be out of your mind, and Yola. I am married and I can't cheat on my hobby for any reason. Two of you look so good together. You are single, same as him. Why don't you get married to each other? Nonsense. And Yola, don't try this nonsense again. Don't try it with me. You know how I behave when I am angry, so avoid me. I respect her decision, Yola. Let her be. She's married now, and I don't want to interfere in what God has joined together. I have my plans, Dom. Don't worry. Lola will be yours soon. Listen to me, Yola. I'm a responsible young man, and can't manipulate me, and you can't manipulate me to do what I don't intend to do. Count me out of your selfish games, Yola. Bye. Hey God, Lola, I will make sure you get kicked out of that marriage. You are married and happy, right? Just wait till I unleash my plan B. Hey Mike. Ah, Enyolua, how have you been? Not bad, Shao. Please sit down, I hope all is well. Of course, all is well, dear. But I came for an important and critical issue. Important and critical issue? Go on. Lola, your wife has been cheated on you, Mike. <laughs> this must be a joke. Lola, my wife is cheating on me. You must be kidding, Eniola. The reason why I want you to know about Lola Shade's escapades is because I'm concerned about you, Mike. Ah, what a coincidence. Lola is here now. Eniola, can you please repeat what you just told me about my wife? Yes, I said Lola here is cheating on you. Eniola, what is the end of this? How do you mean? I want you to give me an evidence of my wife cheating. If these are mere allegations, I will never let you go scot-free. I will get the man she has been cheating on you with. Honey, don't tell me you are starting to believe this winch. Right now, my head is full. I don't know what to believe again. I don't know who to believe to. How dare you, Eniola? What have I taken from you that has made you bitter over my marriage with Mike? Don't be ridiculous, girl. Remember 2020? You scattered my relationship with Fred. And now you think you can have a happy home in peace. God knows I never made Fred break up with you. Stop pinning this on me and allow me to be in peace with my husband. Hey, hey, not only in peace, you will be in pieces. What a bitter heart. Fred left you because of your dishonesty and bad character. Stop pinning it on me. Ha, huh? what is all this now? Hobby, how could you suddenly lose trust in me? Don't you know what I am capable of doing again? I haven't lost trust in you, Lola. But I'm just curious to see Eniola's evidence. Let me tell you a little insight about Eniola's past with me and why she's fighting hard to ruin my marriage. 
Mm. This is terrible. That's a toxic attitude. I never believed in Ella for once. But just that she acted her script very well. If not you, that you came around, I nearly believed her. You know how much I love and cherish you, Mike. I can't imagine myself laying on another man's bed, talk more of opening my legs for another man. I believe you, my love. Tomorrow will be so terrible for Inola. I've already assured her that I will take her out if I finally discover that she's just framing you up. Don't, babe. Let the winch be. She will soon meet her end. No, I insist. I will press charges against her. People like her should be locked up. She will cause more harm if she's free. Let's sleep, hubby. It's late already. Go ahead, babe. I will join you in a giphy. No, Mike, I insist. Let's go to bed. Alright, my new but now. Do whatever that pleases your highness. Good night, hubby. Hi, Mike. This is Dominic. He was your wife's ex-boyfriend back in the days and he has been sleeping with your wife ever since he returned from London. Oh, I see. Yes. Let him explain to you himself. I hope you are with your handkerchief because you will cry after he explains everything to you. Hi Mike, I'm Dominic. My wife's proposed concubine who has come to serve as an evidence and witness I guess. Hey man, I've come to tell you to warn your wife Lola to stay away from people like Eniola. Dominic, what are you saying? What I'm saying is that you are a sadist, Eniola. Listen to me, Mike. I have nothing to do with your wife, Lola. She was my ex-girlfriend. But when I learned that she's already married, I distanced myself. But Eniola's constant persuasion made me decide to come here and tell you to your face that she doesn't mean well for your wife. She should distance herself from Eniola. Oh my goodness. You are such a cheap coward, Dominic. You are such a big coward. Oh, shut up, you fool. That's how people like you go around breaking homes. Peaceful homes that is joined by God. Lola, your wife wronged me in the past and she must pay for her sins. Look at who is talking. You wronged yourself, not my wife. Your bad character made Fred break up with you. Fred was with you, but still chasing Lola around. Now, I want you to ponder about it. Ask yourself some questions. Are you good enough? Mike, your wife loves you sincerely and genuinely. Don't play with her for any reason. And for you, Eniola, you will finally inherit your father's property and stay in your father's house. No man will keep you in his home. You are indeed a Jezebel. Mike, I'm sorry. It's the work of the devil. Please don't press charges against me. Seems you read my mind. Thank Lola. If not by now, you should be cooling off in the police custody. Get out of my sight. Ah, Eniola. Your bad character has finally caught up with you. Ah, Dominic, I'm such a shameless loser. Foolish one. Imagine how my wife's trusted friend almost ruined our marriage. If not for trust and Dominic's revelation, I would have lost my beautiful home and my mumu in Lola. Ah, this life is deep. What an enemy disguised as a friend. But God finally exposed her. Lola must hear this.